Hi, this is Malia. I'd like to show you some blooming succulents we have here as we're entering fall. This is a cute little crashla hybrid known as a Tom Thumb. It has pretty blossoms, like pinkish white blossoms. And they stay fairly small, but they do cluster. This one is known as an Echeveria Malaco. It's native to Mexico, and they have these um, kind of, when it opens up, it's more like orange red on these tall stalks. And you have pretty colors here, kind of mixed with a little bit of orange red with against these um, dark green leaves um, interesting fact um, I found out that the word um, the name Malaco means molasses in Portuguese it's an interesting fun fact there um, this one is a really pretty bright flower to see here they do a close-up this is a crash the accordion plant and you can see these pretty bright orange, actually more pinkish, right? More pink flowers on these tall stalks. Um, to get this to bloom again, you do want to cut the stalk all the way down to the bottom so that it will flower again. This one is an Echeria nodulosa. Here we have, see the multiple colors here? It's quite pretty with this kind of a two-tone with green and red in it. And it has this kind of flower here, kind of a creamish color. See, it's creamish color here. And all these, as you notice, have uh, flowers on these tall stalks. So when they do dry up and they get brown, you can remove this flower and it should bloom again for you. Um, these do really well in bright light, outdoors preferably, where they get good air circulation, natural sunlight, and water about once a week. You can definitely make a succulent container garden Pairing all of these, kind of mixing all of these together so they do work really well together in terms of care and then you can put in a nice container and make a beautiful suckling container garden. Thanks so much for watching!